What is up, YouTube Fitness family? If that sounds familiar. What is going on, YouTube Fitness family? That's because that's Air Janicki's line that he usually opens up with his videos. And today's video is inspired by Air Janicki's. These guys massive. His top five chest building exercises. So I'm gonna link his Facebook, his YouTube channel in the description below. Check out that video too. But we're gonna start off with, we're gonna start off with our incline press, but he doesn't use a regular barbell. He uses a Smith machine. You'd be pretty surprised on his top five chest building exercises. But without further ado, let's get in that first exercise. All right, so we're on the incline press. I'm gonna do two to three sets of these, but I'm only gonna record the first one. I'm gonna record the first one of each of these five different exercises, keep the video nice and condensed. Uh, but what he does is he really controls the eccentric. So if you watch his video, he wants to draw on a three to four second on the uh, decline, the eccentric. Uh, Smith machine press with a really good stretch and peak contraction. The reason I like Smith machine more than traditional bench press to be honest, I haven't barbell bench press, barbell incline in like eight years, and my chest has absolutely exploded that time. It's because I focus more on hypertrophy style training as opposed to strength training. And sure, my top end totals aren't what they were in college, but my chest is so much bigger because I focus on that volumization, that hypertrophy. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go hands, just about wider than shoulder width. I like to use the guides here. We're gonna try to hit that kind of mid chest on Brown, these. Arch the back, proud chest. Reach the chest towards the ceiling, slow on that eccentric, stretch those fibers all the way down to the chest, and push out the hand. And so that's what we're gonna do here. So we'll get a little bit more than shoulder width. Slow on the eccentric. Touch, explode. Explode. We're gonna do 12 to 15. And he also has the bar come up pretty high on his chest towards his clavicle. That's slow eccentric, it really milks it. It gets a nice stretch. Oh, 12. Let's give you a couple more. 30. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple more of these sets, uh, but some th things to note. Again, slow and eccentric, we're on a four count. You want the bar to come towards the upper, your upper chest, towards your clavicle. You have a slight pause when you're on the down, and then press up. And so that was one of, one of five of his top five chest building exercises. Right, I'm gonna do a couple more sets, but then I'll see you on the next exercise. All right, next exercise we're doing is a mid chest fly. We're gonna do a mid chest fly, cable fly on the bench. So we're gonna put the bench all the way in the 90 degree position. We're gonna pull those shoulder blades back. So a lot of people will fly and they'll roll their shoulders over it. What we wanna do is push the butt out slightly, arch the back, and we wanna keep that chest nice and open. Okay. Stretch. One. Get a really deep stretch. We're gonna do 12 to 15.
Get a nice squeeze at the top. All right, so I'm gonna do another one, and uh, I'll see you next. All right, so the third exercise we're gonna do it's another cable fly. We're gonna be hitting upper chest. So many people have underdeveloped upper chest because all they focus on is pressing. Even an incline press, it's hard, really hard to properly engage and fully engage upper chest. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the same bench. We're gonna sit forward on the angle. So I kind of push that up the, the angle of the upper pad back so I can push my butt into it. And then we're gonna dual uppercut fly, squeezing through that upper chest. We're gonna rock the body forward, arch the lower back. Big stretch, opening up. Always theme of these exercises. Open up the tissue. Up, squeeze. And, but notice my hands are not going up here. They're staying down here. And little cue from Eric is make kind of like a V with your hands. Get the stretch. Lean your forty, get more stretch, and then back to get a contraction. Twelve to fifteen. Two more. One more. All right, so I'm gonna do another set or two of that, but you're gonna see the next exercise. All right, we're back on the cable. You may be surprised that we're doing tons of cable work, but uh, no, Eric, he just swears by them. And you look at his chest and also knowing where he came from and where it's gone, I'm not gonna complain. And so here, we're not doing a fly, we're gonna be doing a press. We're gonna go high cable position. We're gonna come all the way up onto the bench. So we're gonna come all the way up to a kneeling position on the bench. So we're gonna use this for leverage. We're gonna come up, stretch, and press through. The reason I like this, because that vector of force is coming from behind us. We still get a big stretch. And then we use this bench to press down into and squeeze through it. You got a really good upper chest pump on these because the angle, you would think lower chest because I'm pressing from high to low, but you have to think that vector force coming from high, but then we're pressing high to mid and you're getting a crazy upper chest pump. So really stretch back, tuck the elbows, big stretch to the back, push through and squeeze. Always get a big chest stretch. I lean back a little bit, you can feel that stretch even more. And the press one. Try to keep your elbows in line with the rope. Table four. I feel it's red. There you go, more. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more sets of these and then we'll go into the, the fifth and final exercise. All right, so the last one of the five we're doing is a dip. What we're gonna do is a chest focus dip. And the way we're gonna do that was we're gonna angle the body forward more and really focus on the stretch at the bottom of the wrap. Kind of a prevailing theme with this whole five exercise series is that stretch at the bottom of the wrap. So what I wanna do is actually push the feet back behind me and get a big stretch to the chest. So it's not gonna be as tricep focused. Push up consciously through the chest, squeezing at the top. Big stretch to the bottom of the rep. Pushing up conscious through the chest. And sort of go slow on the eccentric. The down. 
Oh, that stretch. Three more. All right, so I'm gonna do another one of these and let's stay tuned. So that is Eric Janicki's top five chest building exercises. And so what did we do today? We did an incline press on the Smith machine. Then we did a bunch of different cable workouts or cable exercises. We did some mid chest flies. Then we did some lower flies. Then we did some cable presses. And then we wrapped it up with the, the tricep dips, which are really focusing on the chest. But at the end of the day, how does it look? Well, I'm not stripping for you. We're gonna check out the pump. One second here. Take this. See how this looks. Now, I always had a flat chest. That was one thing that I was never good at either was my chest. Let's see what this is. So what do you think? Chest pumped? I can't, I, I'm not one of those little guys that can, can flex the chest here. But that's what we have for you today. And it's a little bit different video than I've doing before. So you, yeah, well, I went through a whole workout. I didn't record all the different sets. Let me know what you think, if you like these. I kind of like, you know, I like following what other people are doing that have having success and seeing what and what they're doing, if it works for them, if it works for me. And I could tell you, nice chest pump. You find it interesting that no barbell bench, no dumbbell benches. I've seen him do dumbbells. He likes those stretches too. But these were his top five chest exercises that have helped his growth. And being that I want to grow my chest, I figured let's give this a shot. And I'm definitely going to be implementing more of these cable movements into what we're doing. So let's do a couple more. All right, so that wraps it today. And business-wise, well, we're not getting into business today. And you have yourself a great, great day. Wednesday, hump day. Finish the week out strong. Kick some tail. Get your pump on. Prospect. Do whatever you have to do. Improve every day. 1% better. Get better than yesterday. All right, see you later.